what is my user interface it is called user interface because this is the interface the user see when they working with the, the particular software it includes uh, many different uh, elements for beginners it looks a uh, little bit complex and uh, very cumbersome at the first time but when they practice for a few days or few weeks uh, it becomes uh, very intuitive and very easy and uh, one feel comfortable with my user interface when they go to window user interface elements see it includes different kinds of elements we'll come back what are those different elements before that you need to understand what is a element of my user interface for example i'm hiding all user interface elements see it has hidden almost all the elements show all user interface elements now it is showing all the different elements these are all checked when you check this one status line this goes off see that is gone shelf those two status line and shelf are the two important user interface elements and time slider range slider these two and command line help line toolbox see these are the different user interface elements then how many are there there are many but it shows by default 19 user interface elements first one is a menu on the top you see this is a menu bar and the first these seven menus are common menus and other menus change based on the menu set see these are the menu set by default it is a modeling is selected when you change to rigging see these menus have changed animation fx that that is a menu set already you know this is status line this is a status line this is the shelf these are the shelves and here you can see user accounts when you log into autodesk account you can see your name these are user accounts and you can change the default workspaces from here this is maya classic modeling standard see it changed to modeling standard modeling expert it is not showing any user interface elements the name itself indicates user expert like this there are many more workspaces are there we come back to maya classic and the sidebar icons is the next user interface element these are the sidebar icons when you click this one see these things will get updated here these are the sidebar icons you will come to know what are all these things later in the channel box this is the channel box this is very very important we will come to see what is channel box in the coming video lectures and layer editor here this is a layer editor we will come to see in detail about layer editor in future lectures and the most important com part of the user interface is viewports this is perspective viewport when you click on space bar you will see these are the different kinds of viewports these are the these occupies the major part of the user interface beside the viewports there is a toolbox this is a toolbox the toolbox includes important tools and important uh, viewport layouts and uh, in the bottom you can see the time slider this is time slider you are going to learn about time slider and this is range slider and these are play back buttons about time slider range slider and play back buttons you are going to learn in uh, animation section and in the bottom you can see this is the command line where you can apply basic mel scripting commands and the help line see in the bottom you are it is displaying the small help based on whatever you are clicking with the cursor it will show see if it is in the viewport these are the different parts of the user interface elements and you can dock and undock these user interface elements for example see these are small lines are there you can click and drag see this is undocked now 
you can make it small like this this is docking and undocking undocking if you want to keep it back again simply click and drag like this even shelf when you are clicking there there is a blue line you can close you can disable you can do all those things if you want to see that element back go to windows user interface elements toolbox this came back here i want to after undocking when you are facing difficulty to move and you right click on this it is showing move and size if you click on move automatically the cursor becomes move now you can move it this is how you can dock and undock the different elements of user interface and finally if you want to go to full screen mode in simply hiding and unhiding all the user interface elements click on control space bar see now it has hidden all the user interface elements simply it is like a expert mode again click on again click on control space bar it restores all the previous user interface elements now you learned about uh, what is my user interface and what are the different elements of uh, my user interface and uh, how to use uh, window user interface elements how to activate and deactivate all these things and how to dock and undock the user interface elements and uh, how to go to full screen mode control space bar thank you